Now, forewarn weather with Exact Track 4D radar. Exclusive technology for the most up to the minute weather information in your neighborhood. All right, Kim is here. We made it through the week, which mm -hmm. is, it feels like been the longest week in a really long time. Yeah, I have no so idea. So many people Maybe have said you feel that, that way at home, too. Um, but now we're in the weekend looking at the weather and, of course, the eclipse, right? Yeah, and I feel like we've been so negative with, you know, opening day weather wasn't exactly ideal. Mm -hmm. Eclipse weather across much of the totality will not be ideal as well. But in between, we're going to have a really nice weekend. Well, there you go. <laughs> but let's start with the eclipse forecast because it is obviously very, very important. It has not changed much for Texas. Texas still expecting some showers and possibly even a thunderstorm in San Antonio as well as into Dallas. And that's a big disappointment because a lot of eclipse watchers headed to Texas because there's so many cities in that path of totality. Then as we head on up into Little Rock, dries out. St. Louis still looking okay with partly to mostly cloudy skies. And then we get into Indianapolis with partly cloudy skies at 310. And it looks like for Toledo, Luna Pier, and eventually over to Cleveland, we'll have partly to mostly cloudy skies. And you can still see the eclipse in those conditions. So uh, not too bad. And temps will be in the um, upper 50s to right around 60. So it won't be freezing cold either, but still the best place to really see that full eclipse would be Burlington, Watertown, New York, upstate New York, and up into New England. 46 degrees right now downtown. It's 46 in Howell, 45 in Lapeer, and also in Monroe. Exact Track 40 radar. We've had pretty much everything today. We had a few sprinkles, a little light rain, and also some snow showers in some spots. But right now, it's just some very, very light rain down in Monroe, and that will come to an end very shortly. This area of low pressure that's kind of kept us in this kind of misty situation the last few days will finally start to pull off to the east over the weekend. In fact, as we look over to the west in Chicago, already a sunny evening there and clouds have started to clear out in Kalamazoo as well. So here's what we can expect for the weekend. 8 a.m. tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. And then in the afternoon, those skies really start to open up and you can see by 6 o'clock we are mostly clear. Sunday looks like a beautiful day with a lot of sunshine on Sunday. And then some clouds roll back in for Monday. Now overnight Sunday into Monday, is when we expect rain to move in. But at this point, it does look like it will move out in time for the eclipse. As we put this into motion by 11 o'clock, partly cloudy skies. And at 3 o'clock at this point, looks pretty good over Ohio and parts of lower Michigan. But over in Cleveland, they're getting some cloudiness, a little bit more coverage than what we have here. So the eclipse forecast for Luna Pier, the only city you can see the entire eclipse. It will be mostly cloudy and about 60 degrees. Your forecast for the next four days calls for below normal temps, but we warm up into the 60s by next week. So 35 tonight, tomorrow, a nice day for us. In fact, as I step out of the way, look how pretty this weekend looks. Sunshine highs in the low 50s. Next week gets nice and warm. In fact, look at Tuesday. Once everything's done and over with, we get sunshine and 66 degrees. Hey, we'll of take course. it. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Kim. Have a great weekend.